number that they wish to come to a very artistic family, and I do work with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I had to find Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? Good, and you sir? Good, good, good. Very nice show. Thank you. I like Thank it. You. Now I'm about to be the all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. in November 26, 1956, in an accident. 
He was a Canadian painter and illustrator, best known as a member of Painters 11, a group of abstract artists active in Toronto, 1954-1960. Before moving to Canada, he studied design, illustration and painting in Germany, Sweden, France, Italy and Czechoslovakia. He completed a master degree in fine arts from Dresden and took a teaching position as instructor of design and illustration at the Rotter School in Prague. Forced out of pre-war Germany due to the anti-Nazi activities, KN came to Canada freelancing for the Standard and National Film Board. Marcel van Eden was born in November 1965 in The Hague in the Netherlands. He's a Dutch draftsman and a painter. From 1989 to 1993, Van Eden studied painting at the Royal Academy of Arts in The Hague. Marcel lives and works in Zurich and The Hague. Van Eden's work is reminiscent of the film noir period. His work is upstairs. I looked at it already and was very, very impressed. We are very lucky to have a private collector in the province of Alberta, so his works could be shown here in Calgary. And I thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. We are indeed uh, very honored uh, uh, to have, have you come and bring these remarks. And we are incredibly uh, excited about being able to pre present uh, Marcel van Eden's work uh, here in Calgary. Um, I've had the great pleasure of seeing his work in numerous contexts. I don't go to Europe all that much, but it seems like every time I go, I run into a solo exhibition of Marcel van Eden somewhere. And uh, his work is, uh, has been uh, uh, showcased by some of the, the principal art museums in North America. But uh, Marcel so very kindly indicated as we were doing this that actually, despite all those things I just said, this is actually the first solo museum exhibition of his work in North America. So we're very proud of that indeed. Uh, it was kind of a mistake. We didn't know that it was just that, that uh, notable. But uh, I will tell you just one other quick thing about Marcel van Aden and then let us go and enjoy both the music, the, uh, the lovely food and, and wine, and the evening. And that is that Marcel van Aden has an interesting value proposition for us, or two. One is that he makes one drawing a day. That's what he tells us, as if we could know, as if we could check on it. But he makes one drawing a day, and they are basically the same size, same material. And uh, he chooses to make his subject the world before he was on it. So he was born in 1965, and he checks all of the media that he can to try and imagine what the world was like before he was there. I think we're quite beautiful, quite poetic, maybe a bit nutty, but nevertheless, it points us to somebody who, born in The Hague, living in Zurich, traveling and exhibiting extensively through Germany, is basically fantasizing the world in the post-war reconstruction period. And in this particular instance, the Lone Lake Murder series that comes to us through the courtesy of Murray and Christine Quinn of Grand Prairie, who acquired almost all of this material, plus five works by Steve Mickelin from, from Toronto. And that's why we get to show it. Uh, he had never been to Canada. And he, he decided to fantasize a story about a set of fictitious, fi, fictional um, uh, murders that took place in the woods in Canada. So, do the math. He's kind of looking at Oscar Gehane to figure out what Canada at that time looked like. And in the, in the downstairs area, we have a number of the work, including the fabulous Birdman image that is our uh, our signature image, were for mur were to illustrate murder mi mysteries in uh, McLean's and, and the Chatelaine. So we think there's a kind of interesting, convoluted, and ba basically subverbal logic to having these uh, two uh, exhibitions together. So
So we are honored uh, to do it. We're delighted that you're all here, and all of our special guests are here. And I, and I want to, since I've got you all trapped, just simply say thanks to all of the fabulous volunteers of MOCA Calgary who make this all happen. There's only three of us who are ostensibly staff, and you can't get that done with staff. So it's all the volunteers. So thank you very much for coming. Enjoy MOCA Calgary. It's all yours.